Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And for those of you that are new, welcome to the channel. Today, I'm starting my first of three parts of a Squid Game breakdown. Today, I'm covering episode one up to episode three. So let's get right into it. So the series starts with a black and white video of children playing the Squid Game as the rules are being explained to us. Then now back to the clue about the title card. Now, when you look at the shape of the squid, you notice that there are two small circles, then a slightly bigger triangle and an even bigger square. And this directly goes back to the hierarchy of the workers in the squid game because like i said circles smallest triangles in the middle and then the squares are the ones with the most power and this is very representative in the title card now seeing the true nature of the game majority of the players want to take a vote in order to end the games which is actually in clause three of the players agreement they are made to vote in reverse order and the old man il nam has to vote last and he votes to end the game now this actually proves to be a bit of a long-term strategy to bring most of the players back into the game seeing that their lives outside are very terrible which is actually the theme of the second episode in this episode we really come to understand the motivations of our main characters so sangu needs to pay other debts and also has used his mom's house as collateral and needs to balance that out gian's mom is diabetic and needs money in order to treat it. Sebyok wants to reunite with her family and little brother who is actually in an orphanage at this time. Gyoksu made some bad gambling decisions in the Philippines and is double crossed by his subordinate. Ali has a wife and son to provide for but is being double crossed by his boss. Now when Gian tries to report the incidents to the police, they really don't believe him but at this point that he meets John Ho for the first time who seems a little suspicious about what he reported. It's further clarified in this episode when he tries looking for his brother who has gone missing as he finds this ribbon box with the card in it. I'll come back to the ribbon box much later but it is setting something very big up. Another thing to keep an eye on is how Dog Su jumps over the bridge and Sei Byok almost stabs that man in the neck. We will talk about that in the third part of this breakdown. Gihan and Ilnam chew raw noodles or Indomie as we call it here. You see, it's not such a weird thing. Also, keep an eye on Sangu trying to kill himself before his doorbell is rung and the card is brought back. And so seeing that their lives are in shambles, almost all of them go back into the squid game. Another detail that pops up during the pickup is when the player is sedated, the worker actually lets the windows down to let the rest of the gas escape so as to allow them to breathe freely and not be sedated later on. We see that Sebiok protected herself during the sedation and is not asleep this comes into play in the third episode and Jan Ho with his suspicions has decided to tail the truck in order to try and find his brother now the third game provides an insight into the operations of the squid game and how everything is run from the ground up so we see how the players are ferried and the inspection is done and it's at this inspection that Jan Ho attacks the original number 29 and leaves his police ID on the body now this body comes into play much later now at this point of the inspection we see Sabiok slip a switchblade into the pocket of one of the the workers and then retrieve it as she's going back down in order to use it we see that of the 201 players 187 returned meaning 14 did not come back and the front man gives instructions to monitor their activities in the outside world now as this has a social nature alliances will start to form now Gian here mentions a number of children's games in trying to figure things out but he doesn't mention any of the games that they end up playing subsequently he tells Jan Ho who is now posing as number 29 who is being suspected by number 28 and we see that the living quarters for these workers look a little like prison cells for foreign countries now seeing that there is a surveillance camera in the room he decides to do everything with his back facing the camera so as not to jeopardize his identity Minyo shows up more prominently in this episode and she tries to cause a ruckus in order to go and use the bathroom as she's followed by Sabio and the switchblade comes in handy here because she uses that to unscrew a vent in order to go and explore the island she comes to the kitchen when she sees sugar being melted which is for their second game now Jan who in his room figures out that 28 is actually coughing in Morse code and he decodes that as number 29. We see the doctor who gets the nose slipped into his breakfast every time and he sees the second game which is Sugar Honeycomb. Now after hearing Sebyok and Minyo's conversation from the previous night, Sangwoo pretty much figures it out but he doesn't tell anybody else. And with Sugar Honeycomb, the nature of the shape determines how hard your game would be. Minyo uses her smoking lighter to her advantage to heat the needle in order to cut the shape correctly. The sweat that drips off Gihon's face allows him to find the strategy or the loophole to conquering the game which was melting the outer parts first. And as the players that survived are being led back through the myriad of rooms, we see the doctor being led through a different route 
by some of the soldiers. The rule of secrecy becomes entrenched at this point as the front man kills off one of the soldiers as he unmasked, all in an effort to calm the player that went rogue. Jan who was being threatened with disciplinary action by one of the soldiers picks up the mask of the now dead worker and rises up the ranks instantly. Now in these games, one of the things the series does well to set up is the fact that there is always a loophole to beating the game except the last game. So in the first game, the loophole was hiding behind a person in order not to get your motion detected. And in the second game, it was that licking thing that Gihon did. I'm telling you guys, there is so much to break down and I will have more for you in part 2 tomorrow and part 3 on Sunday. In the meantime, please do subscribe to the channel and enable your notifications so you don't miss another breakdown of mine. That's been it. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see a video that YouTube thinks is the best for you, you can click over here. If you want to see a video that's my most recent upload, you can click over here. My name is Dark Monk Papo. I will see you guys in another video very soon. Take care. Peace. Goodbye.